I can't even boys <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am sorry that I missed an upload on Sunday. I was very, very She's busy. She's lazy. I was not she was lazy. Drunk. I was... She was hungover. We were meant to film this video on Sunday and then we didn't. And anyways, we're filming it now in the car when it started raining. So, you know, we've just got kind of great timing at the moment. But anyways, I am joined with my brother again. I mean, I really, 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 after the last video... Ah, yes! Yeah! was trying to get rid of you for a really long time. There's no, there's no danger in this one. I made sure we're in her car. She would not even risk it for a second. Oh God, yeah, this is my new car. I mean, I haven't actually put it on my channel yet. That's it's, all, that's It's weird. ridiculous. She spent two grand on a car just because yeah, for the pretty- two grand on a car. For just for the pretty Instagram pictures, I swear on my life. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I have a she car. She can't even drive. Pending. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I have a car now. This is my new car. I will be doing a full video on that at some point in the nearby future when I actually can drive my car. <laughs> so anyway. she'll never be doing a video on her car, unfortunately. Because she's already failed the test six times. I haven't even taken the test. Don't even put that out there. <laughs> I'm going to pass first time. I'm saying it there for free. Anyways, enough rambling. I'm joined by my brother. I was trying not to be joined by my brother again, but we have to be joined by my brother because, I mean, you guys just really liked him on the first video. And I think it was just really, I feel like people haven't seen you in a long time. And then they saw you and they're a bit like, oh my God, it's your brother. <laughs> Nice voice. I'm going to use that. Steven, but it's so Steve. That's your friends, yeah? This is yeah. what the voice we're doing for your friends. Okay. Oh my God. Whoopsie doopsies. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh my God. I wish I could do that voice. That's so good. Uh oh. How do you get your voice that high? I don't know. I just keep cracking and dying. <laughs> It's a good thing because you're a freaking boy. I'm really sorry, by the way, for the audio in the back because it is raining. So if you hear all of that, just just let it calm you down for this video. It's an ASMR video. Let it video. soothe you before we um, It's just going to be one hour of just listening to you. One hour rain. of watching us sit in and the just... rain. <laughs> anyway, so for today's video, I am going to be asking my brother questions that girls are too afraid to ask. Now, I saw a couple YouTubers be doing this video and it was blimmin' hilarious. And I was like, you know what? There is no one more savage to give these answers than my brother. Like, he is not going to help I'm you so out. Angry. Actually, no, he is going to help you out because he's not going to let you down. But lightly. you're going to need a cry in the toilet before... You may, may or may not. You take you need the to click. If you're potentially talking to someone, I'd click off this video. Oh, yeah, if your boyfriend's there, go. Just off. If run. your boyfriend's there, just exit out like say goodbye I i'll see you later but anyways because my brother is the type of person that he is not going to sugarcoat it he also has a very savage perception anyways so like there's it's not even like it's coming from a really sweet guy cause <laughs> i'm so kind i have no idea what you're on about I... Let's, let's, let's let them decide <laughs> so without further ado we're going to get straight into these questions because otherwise we're just going to literally sit here and just that's it 20 minute intro okay so first a question Let's start off nice and cute, okay? <laughs> For the cute girls out there that are hoping that this answer is yes, do you guys ever get butterflies? Let's say you've been talking to someone for a little while, or, or like it's the first day, or... Like, every guy, when you're like young, starting off, and I'm assuming this video goes out to like, you know, we're not talking about 96 year old grannies here. Mm -mm. I mean, We're talking that, that, like I'm talking like some of my viewers are very very young. As in, like, yeah, like if you're if you're still in any part of school, unless you are dating the don of dons of everything of that school, he's gonna choke up a bit around you because like he's young, isn't it? Like, oh, I thought. And the thing is, girls can read this. Why is this even a question? You girls know yeah, this straight you know away. What? You're just like, is it <laughs> really like, true? Is it, is it not? Oh my god. And you're like, Psh, I can I tell. This actually... guy's nervous. I'm not nervous. He's all nervous. I would actually say that potentially guys get more nervous than girls. Why? When you're why? younger, yeah. Yeah, why? Because it's normal for a girl to act giddy on a first date, as in to be like, uh huh. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, guys are trying to hide it. Laughing, whereas and a guy's trying, yeah, a guy's trying so hard to be like, Ugh. yeah, big man. Yeah. Just stop. Oh, bro, yeah, bro. but like now, would you say like, okay, so you're 25 now. Just had to guess there, that was a hesitation. I was like, well, quick math, 20 plus 5. What Wrong bro? video. Um, you're, <laughs> you're 25 now. Would you say if you were taking someone for a first date right now, would you get nervous? No. Nah. Not at all? N not even in the slightest. What about at my age? Just because like it's more fun. Like at, way out at, of school now. At 21... It I'm not depends. 21 yet, guys. Wait for it. But anyways, 21. <laughs> at 21, it, it probably depends a lot on the girl. So if you know them beforehand a little bit, it's a little bit more casual than that because you guys know and stuff and you've been around each other. But if it's just someone that you've, like, met minor or something or you had, like, a really great interaction before, then you've got, like, really high expectations and you're just going to be like, oh, my God, you don't want to blow it up, blah, blah, blah. What happens if, like, you mess up when you're, like, meeting the girl? You, you just like, have you just a laugh. Like, Who cares? To be fair, I see that because, like, I just don't... I, I wouldn't want them to go nervous. If they do something where I'm thinking, oh, 
all, all they're like nervous that's why they've done it i make a joke about it because exactly I'm like, yeah, yeah i'm more like yeah i'm more like i'm like oh <laughs> like you don't i, no, I don't care i'm so laid back right personality or looks answer honestly answer honestly answer honestly it's all personality but you're not you're not yes. gonna find the way it should work is like good looks get you like they open the door and then you have like a conversation and you enjoy the moment from there. I like that good looks open the door because it is true like realistically it is true. you don't walk up to someone if you're not attracted to them I, I hate what, to what, break what it to you your, unless you're like in a situation where you're amongst a big group of friends you've been introduced you know each other for years and you they're per, you find their personality like, but like, do you know what I mean? You can become more attracted to someone, can you? I would. I don't know. I think. I mean, people change and they become yeah. more or less. I know. Awesome. I think you know straight away whether someone's your type. Yeah, within reason. Yeah. I mean, girls cl- clue onto this real quick, but most guys are a lot more simple. It's just, damn. No, I agree with you. I just think, yeah. Do you like when a girl texts you first, or do you find that needy? Now, I'm talking like. She's popping up all the time at the beginning. Obviously, when you're like, when you get into dating and boyfriend and girlfriend, you stop thinking about those things. Like, you just message each other all, like, not all the time, but like, when you're. Okay, sure, yeah, go on. Not all the time, but like, when you're. (laughs) You just message each other naturally. You don't think about it. But when you're thinking about messaging someone, do you prefer, like, do you find it needy or do you prefer when the girl messages you all the time? Or do you you find, do you think that makes them keen? All right, so like, the, the best thing for you guys to understand is that if someone's not messaging you, they might just have things to do in their life. And, they might, and that kind of means that there's someone who's got stuff going on and you don't want someone to be like the only focus in their life is you and that's all they're focusing on because you want them to have things to do, fun going around, you know. When you meet them, they're like they're doing something dope and you can be doing something dope with them or vice versa. And like it's OK to message someone. Yeah. And if you were interested and you want to send that message, just send it. But like, I, my advice to you is just actually have other things going on in your life. So and I don't, don't mean 12 to. mans on the side, one Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or like that. But I mean, yeah. actually like have interesting, cool things in your life yeah. that you can love and enjoy. But what about like the phase when you're like younger and like message? Like, yeah, because when you're younger, you, you have want, less yeah, to do. Yeah, you have less to do. Yeah, so especially talking, in Corona yeah, times Yeah, like what about well. younger girls who like, for example, you work all the time, match, so I understand. Match his interest. That is the best advice you'll ever That's get. Really so if he's messaging a little bit slower, that means that doesn't mean he's not interested. That literally just means he maybe has other things to do. And there's a lot of guys that that is literally the reason they don't text. And girls get so like. And the same is true text- with women yeah. as well. Yeah. It's completely the same true with women. That's- but like, do you think there's some guys that like don't text because they? Oh, like a hundred and fifty percent. But the same is true with women as well. This is That's like true. gender neutral. And the thing is, my best advice to you. <sighs> My my best advice to you, straight up, is if someone's playing games with you like that, they're not worth your time. Like, if you're actually that awesome that you're going to be interested in this, that, and the other, if they're playing games at the beginning, they're going to be playing games the entire time. Do you text first or do you wait for the girl to text first? Like, to, to see whether she's interested? Oh! I personally, as a girl, I don't really I could do too not much message messaging. a guy first. I don't do too much messaging. You don't like, message I, I kind of yeah. just see people in person and then just go from there. Yeah. As a girl, I could not message her. I, I would find it so, like... I don't know. What in the early stages I find it like so needy. I don't know why. It's not. It's not so much about being needy. It's, it's a lot harder to gather information about the guy if you message first because you're giving him a lot of leeway. That's what I mean. Gate. Like yeah. you've got to see whether they're interested. When they show they're well interested, you're like, okay. You got to see. You, like women look amazing, and that's their like thing that opens the doors. And guys have got to be confident, and that's their thing that opens the doors. And if you message first, that's it, you don't get to see the confidence because you've just basically skipped 15 steps just for them. Yeah, and you're you're lining yourself up to get into that exactly. situation where you like him more if, than if you. If that guy you're you. looking at, you think he's amazing, then he should just be bloody messaging you already. Right, let's go on to the next question. We'll get into that in a bit. Good. Okay. Have you ever lied about anything to get with a girl? What, like about me? Yeah. Like, have you ever, like, told, like, a lie? Like, for example, I know I know, people I know where you're getting that at lie with about question. their height or something like that. I don't girl... think I ever have. Yeah, so, like, from the beginning, I didn't really care that much. As so in, it didn't bother me. As in you were just happy, like, if they like you, then they like you. Yeah, kind of. But do you think other guys do that? To like, lie, I'm, you... I'm, I'm telling you I have friends. Yeah. And I know the lies they do. And the amount of them that don't lie, I can count on one hand, unfortunately. What's the worst thing you've ever seen a friend lie about? He said he had a kid. Why? <laughs> <laughs> because she had a kid and she kind of wanted... Oh! I... I... <laughs> That just immediately answered that question because it, it, it was the second she answered it, I knew she was going to answer the follow-up question. He said he said he had a three-year-old kid. 
<laughs> what did he do when she, she did it? <laughs> he had a mate who was a single dad and asked to babysit. It never went through that Don't way, but he it. actually asked for that that friend to do that. Are you but it sure never went through that way. I was going to say, that could not have worked out, like, honestly. What's, <laughs> like... But what's the little ones? Like, I know people lie about height. I don't get why, because actually, maybe I'm just saying this because of me, but I don't get why people lie about height, because height is not... No, it, I'm not telling it. you, I've seen so many, so many savage girls, like, absolutely blow guys Do you, off Would you height. say guys lie about age? I've, I don't think not so. Overly. I've never seen it in my life, but height, I see... So what is it? What else do you issue. see as height? What else? Like, is there anything else? Um, profession, I think, is the absolute king. They'll lie about where they work that, and stuff. Because then or what they'll do you be do elusive. when you actually start dating? But guys don't care about that. Right, they're only in it for one thing. Mm, yeah. Sad. It's alright, girls, don't cry. <laughs> so, well, you, but nice you don't want there. those guys. You don't you want, want those guys. guys. No, no, there is nice guys. guys about there. Sometimes you want those guys after a breakup, but then you don't want those guys. No, you don't. You want the nice guys to come and make you feel better. <laughs> okay, oh, nice guys. Hmm. I'm just I'm just too nice of a girl. Answer your question from earlier. Have you ever, as a guy, questioned your sexuality? <laughs> right, um... I so don't know the answer. I'm just straight up straight. But I am probably one of the most open-minded people you'll ever see. And I've n- I have have never really questioned it, but because I'm just not attracted to men. No. But the thing is, if I was attracted to men, I wouldn't be someone who hid in the closet and denied it. Do you know why? Because you just, like, you're such a... Like, he's the type of person that he may get asked on a night out, are you gay? Like, you are... Because he's just May, so... May, I always get asked. Yeah. You know what? The amount of times on a night out he comes home and he's like, people have asked if I'm gay. It's not because he he is. Like, you don't act like what stereotypically it is. It's more so you are just so <laughs> crazy that guys cannot... Because most yeah, guys walk yeah, around yeah. the club like, trying to get And girls are just like, you must be He's like hanging out with the girls, yeah, and just having fun. And... It's it's okay though, you know. Like, I, I take it as a compliment to be honest. Because have you seen gay guys like, whoa, they're so much better. Right. Biggest turn off. Sorry to break all your fantasies though. <laughs> And um, what is your what is biggest turn offs for you and for guys? So, give me a little let me run oh, okay, down. Okay, for me and then for yeah, like what yeah. I think uh, what like, about my overall friends and for stuff. guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. as you know, for your friends. But also, what's your biggest turn off? Right, so that was the first thing you'd be like, absolutely not. I mean, my my biggest red flag is the people who just don't take like birth control and stuff seriously. Mm-hmm. Honest to God, straight up. But do you ask? Sorry, do you want a drink? Um, no, I'm good. No. I'm good. Do you um do you, ask? you ask? Like, as in, if you're about to get with a girl. Do you ask them? Well, no, but I'm I'm always going to be one, two, three, emo- feelingless, senseless. Like, I don't even care. Nothing's happening, I swear. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. For the most part, like, you don't even have to ask. It's just an unwritten rule. For, f- thankfully, guys kind of have a lot of control over that. It must right. be a little bit crappier as girls because you're kind of like, it, it can be a bit awkward if they ever say no or something. Like, that's a bit <laughs> weird. You know? But for guys, you have control over it. You know, you've got a wallet, problem solved. And... Going on and going forward, though, you can kind of see the girls that do and don't take it. And what, this what is what turns you off about it. You you don't think they're being like what? getting trapped. Real talk. This right. is the biggest fear for all the guys. This is not like this. You can be a general all right thing. Like the biggest fear for all guys. If you if you don't if you're not someone who's taking it seriously or you seem like you're someone who's going to trap him, he's he will never take you seriously. Uh, straight wow. up, like any effort you do into the relationship. Let's say you have six months. It's absolutely amazing, and then you kind of like just hint in, in some kind of trappy behaviour, like trap with a baby kind of thing, he will immediately not trust you. See, did you experience that? I, um, there's not a massive age group between, gap between us. I'm turning 21, he's turning 26, pretty much within a month of each other. Yeah. But would you say, at my age, that was your top concern? Yeah, true. Really? So straight, and, like, and, and every guy I know when, as well, yeah, for the most part. From whenever you, like, do you know what I mean? From whenever you started, do you think that, did you, it was that Maybe not when I was really young, because yeah. I was stupid when I was 16. You didn't even think about that stuff. You know what I mean? But, like, what's this dirty grin? <laughs> You're having sex at 16. How do you know? You just said! No, I never <laughs> said that. I... Okay, also, the rain has got progressively worse. So, again, just enjoy the ASMR. Okay, honest... Makeup or no makeup? The thing is, just makeup's always going to look better. Like, what yeah. do you mean no makeup? Like, no, makeup, okay, but makeup would you gives rather? no, no, no. Makeup gives girls confidence, and yeah. confidence is bloody sexy. Okay. And, and that is just straight up. Okay, but for example, truth. if you having a girl over to come chill with you, watch a movie. Oh, I wouldn't. I, I would really not be bothered. You wouldn't care. No. So but like, if we're going out somewhere, she's like, when she's got makeup you're on, never she's going to show up to a club with a girl without makeup. So standardly, when you meet someone, standardly, is that in a goes? club, you're not even going to be able to notice, are you? No, but regardless, no girl is going to the club without. Oh yeah. 
yeah, you yeah, are, yeah, I'm yeah, giving yeah. you 20 quid because well done you. Because I, no girl, every girl yeah. gets dressed up to go to, you can't. Exactly, like, and then you get this pop in confidence and that yeah. just makes, that, that, yeah. that right there is worth way more okay, than the makeup. Okay, so what about the girl you're dating? As in you're not just meeting her for the first time in a club and have to go and move her, you're now dating well, her. Well, if she's, it's, it's kind of just an effort thing. Like you put an effort for each other and if someone's like never, ever, ever going to put in any effort, okay. like just to do like, like things you like and stuff like how is that ever going to work um what do you consider a high body count for a girl and does body count matter well? um this is so this is this is you're, you're gonna get no 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 you're gonna get an interesting answer on this one so a high body count for a girl doesn't matter at, at whatsoever and it's preferable because the thing this is, is your opinion yeah? this is, is my this, your this is my opinion and and so for guys it's going to depend so much on like culture and background and things like that Mm -hmm. Because that can change things so much, like their parents, their upbringing, like where like okay. their culture and stuff is from. Go on. But experience is amazing. Like oh, like who? So many guys come out and they're like, I want a virgin, and she's got to be perfect. I'm gonna marry her straight. Like oh, like uh, what? Like I want the most wild thing with all the experience in the universe, who knows exactly what she's doing, and then I don't have to spend blooming a hundred nights teaching all of that, because. That right there is awesome, and I and the, unfortunately guys want both. They want like this experienced wild cat, whatever, oh who's who's never had any experience in their life, and it's just like well, that does that's not how the world works, mate. <laughs> I hate to break it to you. So for me, I say experience is great, like, and okay. also it gives them good standards. Okay, so you're talking it in terms of experience, but like for example, if you were going to marry a girl, would would it matter to you if her body count was high? No, no we weren't facing. Okay, so what space. what do you consider? Like, preferable. what number do you consider a high body count? It's, it depends on your age, isn't it? But okay, like, so let's shoot say my me a age. number. Twenty one. Twenty one. Oh, I thought you meant body count twenty one. I was like, <laughs> no, no, no. Like for twenty one. So for twenty for, for one, you're say bracket when you just come out of. In the UK, most people don't sleep with more than eight people in their life. A girl you, or a guy. For for guys and girls, it's it's the same. For guys. No, if you sleep with more than eight people in your life, you're you're beating the average. But it depends a lot on the girl and her relationship, you know, because like you can gain experience through a huge relationship and you've been in for like three years, you know, like just because someone's been with. Oh yeah. Yeah, like it's so oh. different. So you're saying you like a girl that is experienced, but it doesn't mean she has to... It doesn't... It's not to do with uh, body count. Okay, well, then in which case, then... It's, body count's so cruel because, like, yeah. you might... Like, I feel like body count's a good thing because it means you're actually cycling through a healthy relationships and trying to find someone ideal for you as opposed to That's sticking with something... It, sticking with someone who might not actually be right. You know what I mean? Like, if you're sticking with someone who's not right just for the sake of forcing it, like, what kind of happiness are you ever going to get? Like, you know what I mean? So, honey, if you're in your whole face... <laughs> And you're going wild, and you're about of the age of 22 and above, because no other guy is going to be saying that. <laughs> Every guy I know would be like, oh, yeah, but no, it's so. It's just, see, she's so right. There is because other guys will no just one, judge you. Left, no right, one center. sees body count like that. I've, I've never heard that. I mean, <laughs> right, standard. Should have asked this first. <laughs> Boobs or bum? Boobs, but, <laughs> but I'm actually into like smaller girls in general. To be honest with you. <laughs> um, do you guys act differently around their friends to their girls? To guys? Uh, to oh, yes! Like, what do you even mean? A hundred percent! Why? When a guy's all in love and all that, he actually acts, like, honest and, like, true to himself when he's around the girl. Like, he oh. can't hide it. Oh, so he's more himself. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. he like, acts up instead of his no, if No, if you have got him, got if you, he's got feelings and stuff for you, like, he will be, yeah, but he'll be acting up for his friends, but he will be more and more, like, honest So you'd with say you. he's nicer... To the girl, hundred percent. He will be more himself to you. Like if he's in love, oh. if you know he's in love and stuff, rather than like some fake this that and the other. Okay, one. but what about when he's not in love? Like, because obviously your boyfriend and girlfriend, so you do know each other the most. But like, what about like when, like you're dating? Uh, it depends so much on the guy, but like he'll be probably he'll be trying to like you know do his best. Have you ever seen a situation where someone acts like so different? Oh yeah, no. When they're in when they're in love and stuff, they act completely different. Like, like right. it's, you've got this like caring, generous, like lovely guy, whatever that you love to see it all the day. And then when he second he sees his mate, he's just like, you never guess who I banged on the counter yesterday. <laughs> and it's just like it's just it's just really literally, about yeah. their fucking girlfriend. Yeah, it's just. Oh my god, god for that. Can I ever say that about me? I'd be like, no. Nah. <laughs> You tell me straight away. We're going on a trip. <laughs> you ain't gonna guess what I got planned, mate. 
Right, last question, and this is just from a guy's perspective. Um, mm. In a guy's head, what is the ideal first date and why? And that you. Can... I'm not giving you just advice on how to plan out your little dates and stuff. I'm not planning no dates. <laughs> What do you mean? I'm saying, what's the guy's ideal first date? As in, like, what do you want to do? Like, something, what... something cheap where you can talk. Cheap where you can talk. So you... Because, quite frankly, doing an activity when you don't know the person is stupid because the only thing you two want to do when you're meeting up in the first time is you want to talk. Like, if you both live close to each other, just go to, like, a park or something, grab some food halfway through, um, and then just see how things lead from there, you know? Like, what time availability do you guys have? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you could go to a pub and just sit down and talk together. Pubs or like a, fun. I like pubs. Even, like, a like a nicer bar. Like, not like a club or something, because that's a bit too oomph, but, like, like a, like a bar, like a decent... I don't think anyone should be going to a club on their first yeah, date. And I've seen it, so don't be. <laughs> okay. I'd be like, honey, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's club. funny actually, a lot of girls ask to like because it's kind of public you and they can bring their friends and stuff. Oh, meet someone. well, yeah, if you're doing a group, obviously, yeah. if you're doing a group thing and you're just bringing the guy you like, then that's fine. Mm. But like, if it's, I mean, if you're one on one going out, yeah, yeah, if you're one on one going out, literally just cheap, so like, not the standard, and also like public dinner. and like, no, I hate that. So, good, good like, I think yeah. we're on the same page. I just, it's not that I hate that, I love it. Like, no, like dinner's cool and stuff once cool, you know but not each on other, the first date, yeah, yeah, like if you're if you're already around each other's house and you say, you know what, let's go out for dinner, that's yeah. when you go and spend some time. I just together think for if dinner. you're like, imagine trying to speak across the table, I guess so, yeah, like, seriously, seriously, if we go to like a cafe or something, let's say, we're, you know, I meet you for a park, we're talking for half an hour, we like each other, we go grab a coffee or something, just like sit Character. side to side like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah. not sit opposite from each other because it's just, it kills the vibe and like, it's, so it's a waste of time, like you two I being there with each other. Like, they're across the table, you're like, oh, what school did you go to? Yeah, you're supposed to be like into each other and stuff. So you want to yeah, be sitting next, to, sit each next other, to each other and like. 100% sitting next to the girl. I'm telling you for free. That's oh, free and, oh my God, if you can get a corner booth. Oh, corner booth yeah. is just the best. Corner booth, if not, just sit. Because corner to the booth girl. has this like triangly thing going on, yeah, where you can see each like, other. Yeah, yeah. that's and, like, perfect. But bang. if not, just sit next Boom. to her because I'm telling you, I'm yeah. telling you, I'm telling and you. I also say so this: if you're better. the guy as well, literally, even if the seating arrangement doesn't allow it, literally just move the shit around so you're sitting next to each other. Just, just own it. Com- just, I was going for it, but I, you no. Don't but do. then you went like this. You went like this. <laughs> I like Whoa! First date, like I'd be like, that's cute. As in, like, if 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 you oh, and if you know guy... each other, literally just go around each other's oh, house. Oh yeah, yeah. If just you know go around each other's house. Other's house. Like, literally... if, if, if it's like you just kind of realise there's some there's a little Something thing there, there. Go each house. just go, go chill to each, each other's house. house. Sofa, like Netflix, pizza, Hundreds, wine, yeah, bang. Like, what, and also try to make it equal. Like, a lot of guys will do all the work, or maybe a lot of girls will do all the yeah. work. So literally, if you're going to her house. Tell her to order a pizza and you, you bring, bring the wine. wine. Bang! Uh, bang. <laughs> but don't do that with a guy you don't know because they're going to get the wrong end of the stick. If it's a guy you know, then they know you're not just coming over to sleep with each other. Yeah, do you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that was all the questions I had for Steve today. Oh and you know what? I didn't I didn't slap him. So <laughs> we got somewhere because Yeah, I know. Then we get out of the car. These, I was watching these... You few said videos. what? Bang. <laughs> I was watching a few of these videos and I was like, He's actually going to slay all women. And I was like, I just, I don't think I can give these girls this advice. But you were actually, he's actually a nice guy, guys. Her, her, her questions were tame. I'll tell well, you Well, yeah, I did have to filter out some. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, go and smash the thumbs up and comment Subscribe, down below. Subscribe, comment, ding the bell, Ooh. like the thing. Uh, there's a button over here. Something, something, something. Transition, goodbye, guys. <laughs>